to God, I've been at it for a minute. Climbing to the top, and this music was my ticket. Found a way to grind, turn a passion to a business, no limit. I'm All right, guys, Andy Elliott, One Percenter Podcast. I'm here with this big dude. How old are you? I'm 20. 20 years old, man. Look how big they're making them now, dude. I'm like, son of a buck. Was I that big when I was 20? But he's a good-looking kid, jacked up. He's awesome, but he's 20 years old. What I love about him, I see him at a lot of our events. He was at our event this weekend, and I just kind of got to know him for a minute, dude. And number one, he does something called Arbitrage Etsy Dropshipping, okay? Now, he'll explain this a little bit. I'm going to let him talk, but I want you to understand something. When I listen to his story... Dude, this guy's making a lot of money, and he's not even doing a lot of work. Now, I know that's kind of foreign, right? I know people right now that work 70 hours a week to make $10,000 a month. Literally, for 30 minutes a day for what this guy's doing, you can add an additional ten grand a month to your paycheck. It's crazy. You just got to learn a new skill, okay? So everybody always talks about, like, you got to have multiple streams of income. I totally agree. A lot of that requires you to go do a whole new job. So he's mastered this. He's killing it. He's super young. Um, I love that. Anybody that's young that's watching this, you don't have to be young to do this. You can be 70 years old and do this. It doesn't even matter. But I love that his entrepreneurship at such a young age, he's self-developing himself. Um, he learns all this. And he's built a course that even teaches all the stuff that he's about to talk to you about. But let's start, man. Number one, Carson, I appreciate you. And uh, how can somebody find you as we're talking on Instagram if they want to DM you or something like that? If you want to DM me on Instagram, you can find me at official.carsonquek, Q-U-E-C-K, or you can shoot me a text at 936-217-4861. My man. All right, Carson, let it rip. Tell us a little bit about you and tell us how you got into you know, doing arbitrage Etsy dropshipping. Like, yes, like, sir. Walk us into it a little bit. Like, how'd you find this? And just a little bit about kind of like how you grew up and stuff. Right. So it all began whenever I was 14. Um, I was trying a bunch of different online business models. I actually started with trading. Um, I saw one of my travel ball coaches uh, doing some Forex, and that's kind of what got me interested in making money online at an early age. And so, so what got you into like doing this at 14? Because a lot of people are 14, they're not even thinking about making money. Like, I just want to know, like, I want you to keep going, but like, but like who inspired you to start like being interested in this stuff at 14? Like who, who, who inspired you? Uh, I think it really just piques my interest once I saw, um, you know, somebody that I personally knew going for it. Okay. Um, someone who was already kind of in a position of authority to me, uh, a coach for my baseball team. That's so awesome. seeing that he was doing that on the side um, without that much work into it, I thought that that but could... But being 14, yeah. man, that's an action <laughs> taker, dude. You're going to... Listen, you're going to go really far. I know you are. But let's keep rolling. So 14, you get in the game. You start practicing with trading. Yes, okay. sir. And uh, from trading, I went into, you know, all the mainstream big-time business models online with drop shipping, copywriting, uh, Amazon FBA, social media marketing, all those big mainstream businesses. And I really wanted them to work out for me, obviously. And I was investing a lot of time and money into them, uh, buying different courses, uh, trying to get value out of them. But they're just business models that I didn't see any results in. And all the people that were in the community around me weren't getting any results either. So I never saw proof of concept. I pushed in, you know, hours and hours a day. And I really needed something that fit inside of my schedule as well. Mm -hmm. So obviously I have school and baseball on the side um, right now, college and college baseball. Mm -hmm. So it takes up tons of time. Where do, you, where do you go to school at? I go to Kansas State. Nice. I love it. Yes, sir. Good yes, job, sir. I appreciate right, keep it. Going. Yes, sir. Uh, so once I got into college, it made, you know, online business a little bit more difficult and I needed something that didn't take too much time, but I didn't want to do all these mainstream business models that everyone's trying and no one's making money in. Mm -hmm. So seemed like they got heavily saturated. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There's millions of people trying to do it, but there's only a few that are making money. So I heard my girlfriend start talking about Etsy, which was just an online marketplace similar to Amazon. Dude, Etsy's big, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, like $2.7 like, billion dollar in industry. Say, yeah, yeah. Once you get into Etsy, like I start buying everything. <laughs> yes, sir. Like, honestly, like, yeah. it's, like Etsy's great, dude. Yeah, and it's it's still uh it still has kind of like a wow factor to it because it's pretty well known, but not everybody knows it. Yeah. So there's still new customers coming in. They're still growing every year. Um, but once I heard my girlfriend, you but know, she's people uh, buy there. They stay pretty hooked in there. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's a super specific target audience. Yeah. So you know, my girlfriend when she was talking about it, making you know purchases through it, 
I was like, that's interesting. Let me ask some, some family about it if they use it. Cause I never really heard about it at the time. Um, so, you know, everyone around me was kind of using it from the buying standpoint, being a consumer. Mm -hmm. And I was taking all of what I learned from the other business models with drop shipping or marketing. And I kind of brought that into Etsy and they have a, a layer of protection through their policies that doesn't allow anyone from anywhere to do anything they want on their platform. So with drop shipping uh, through Shopify, you know, anybody can try to do it with any amount of money. And that's kind of what makes it so saturated. But with Etsy, you know, if you don't approach it the right way and you don't really know what you're doing and you don't have like the behind the scenes knowledge, you're gonna get taken off. So a lot of mm. people wanna go and do it on their own, but it makes it super, super difficult. For me, it took months and months of trial and error, testing, reading through policies, you know, trying to see um, what I could do to get onto this platform mm -hmm. and be a part of the community that's much smaller than any of the other online businesses, right? Yeah. It's not saturated like at all. Your odds of making it with Etsy were great. Exactly. We're I just need to figure out how to get on. So you figured that out, you figured out how to get on, then kind of talk to us about that. So once I got on, I was still doing uh, social media marketing on the side uh -huh. and it was going okay. Um, I was putting in, now for okay, I mean in terms of I was starting from nothing and I had some interest uh, from some people, right? Mm -hmm. So in the big scheme of things, it wasn't doing anything for me, Yeah. but you but know, you I was- trying to start a business. Right, yeah. exactly. So whenever I moved goes. into, Etsy was actually a side thing because it only takes 30 minutes a day. Okay. So the the way that, you know, the strategy behind it is more about consistency. So the approach I took, it's only 30 minutes a day. And I was able to do that on top of baseball, mm -hmm. school. Obviously, anyone can find 30 minutes of time in their day. Facts. So you can that, always find time for what's important to you. Exactly. Yeah. So I was doing that and it just started taking off. I got, you know, onto the platform, figured out a step-by-step -step protocol that all I had to do was, you know, follow it. And now I help other people with that same protocol. But by my third month, I was doing over five figures. That's so cool, dude. I love it, man. By the way, you're 20 years old. Sir. You play baseball in Kansas, right? What, yes, uh, what position do you play? I play the outfield. Outfield. Yes, You've been kind of grinding since you're 14. You yes, tried sir. multiple things. You obviously are a course taker yourself. Oh, yeah. I spent over five figures on courses from various business models. Yeah, I like that. So I just want everybody to know, like, this is important to me because he's built a course on how to do this. And I think the course is only like 500 bucks or something, right? Mm, yeah. Like, it's stupid, dude. Like, the kid, you need to charge more money. <laughs> but he's 20, so thank God he, he's not smart yet. Okay? <laughs> so that you guys can take advantage of him. But I want to tell you guys something, um, and I would recommend everybody take it. It's very smart. But I want to tell you something that's cool is that he's a course taker. And I like this because if you take courses and you take a lot of them, which you've taken a ton of them, yes, then when you create one and make one on your own, you know out of all the courses you've taken how to create the greatest user experience. Yeah, right? and that's exactly what I did whenever I like, was taking like the you courses. Said, like it's just it's a protocol. Like just A to Z, do this 30 minutes. You're telling us up front the time it'll take, the steps you follow, and then the money you'll make. Right. And it's it, that's it. And from the consumer side of it, whenever I was buying courses, people always try to really like extend out their way of teaching, right? Or, you know, they'll try to throw in some, you know, affiliate marketing on the side. Um, or whenever, you know, they're going through their course, they're just giving strictly information, but they don't actually show you what to do. Mm -hmm. So from that experience that I had, I wanted to really make it a point to get straightforward anyone without any knowledge can literally watch and follow along with the course. And by the time they're done with it, in a couple hours, they have a full, they know exactly what they need to be doing. They're following it live, step by step. So there's nothing they even need to think about. They're just sitting there, you know, copy paste, going back and forth. And then after the first day of setup, it's literally 30 minutes a day. I love that, man. Yes, sir. So tell us some stories. Tell us about some of the people that you've helped a little bit. I, number one, I, I mean, I love, I love like the fact that it worked for you. Right. I love the fact that if you can do something, anyone else can do it. I love the fact that you said you simplified this teaching inside the course, which means you made sure that anybody, no matter how old they were, no matter what they did, no matter what industry they are in, they can pick this up as something they do on the side with 30 minutes a day within a couple hours and they can do. Does it take money to invest to get in this other than the five hundred dollars to get the course? Right. 
Right. Um, is there a lot of cash that they have to have to invest in this? So this is one of the biggest parts of the business model for me, especially being a college student whenever I first started not having anything to really invest like consistently. A lot of capital. Uh -huh. Exactly. So I couldn't really put anything back into it. With this, there's no ad spend. You're not making, you know, any type of content. Mm -hmm. You don't have to show your face anywhere. But mm -hmm. the only cost you have is product cost mm -hmm. because there's no marketing or anything like mm -hmm. that. And you're only buying product once you get a sale. So you don't have to buy inventory and you're never holding inventory either. That's crazy, dude. Yes, sir. So I want you to understand what he's saying. And by the way, like, just take the course. It's that simple. First of all, it's 500 bucks. Like, usually stuff that'll make you 10 grand a month, people will charge you, you know, $10,000 or something so you can make 10 grand a month. So when it's all said and done, at the end of the year, you make 12 times more. But literally, you can make more than 10 grand a month. Depends on how obsessed you become with it, right? Yes, sir. But for 30 minutes a day, I love what he said. Basically, it's almost like selling something but pre-selling it, which means the client pays first, and then you buy the product. So it's crazy. So there's no cash ever involved. It's just physically when somebody buys something, the sell funds the product you're going to buy, and then you get to keep the additional in profit. Yes, sir. You're just the middleman. Dude, does everybody get this? This is awesome. You know what I love, too, about you is uh, you're here this weekend, right? So, number one, you're still in school, right? And this yes, is sir. important. I want everybody to know this. I always tell everybody, like, be the client that you want, right? Like, be the client that you want. Like, clearly, he's, he's working hard. You're taking care of your body. You're taking care of your mind. You're still in school studying. You're playing sports and being a great guy. You're staying away from trouble. Like, dude, I would pay $500 to buy the course just to support you. I appreciate that. Yes, like, sir. Yeah, but I mean that. Like, I think a lot of people just say, hey, I may never even take the course, but I'm going to buy it for 500 bucks to support the kid because I think that's awesome. And I think this is the kind of generation that, like, I do all this hard work to try to raise guys like you because you're going to create – you're going to be a great leader. You're already a great leader, but you're going to become a great leader for a lot of people, and I mean that. So here you are. You're doing the right things. You know, you said some stuff helped, some stuff didn't, but you're still training. You're still coming to seminars. What did you think about our, our training seminar yesterday? It was great. Nothing beats it. But, but, but for real, though, <laughs> what did you events. think? Was it cool? Like, did you feel like you oh, left? Oh, yeah. This whole, like environment, this whole environment, I feel like as soon as I step foot here, there's just so much energy. And honestly, I feel like I've progressed so much as a person just from being in this environment that it's, it's unexplainable. Good. Well, my goal with you guys, and I want you to know this, is that we create, and this is why I grab him, because, you know, I have a lot of guys on here, they're business owners, you know, they're making, you know, $100 million a year, and they're telling how, you know, they, you know, were sleeping in their car, and then they worked out of that, and then now they got a big business, and, and every story is different, right? But yours is, sounds like you got a great family, right? Yes, sir. Cool. You got a great family, dude. Not everybody has to be an underdog. Like, I love it. Like, I'm an underdog, right? Like, I come from a broken family and all this stuff. But you sound like you got good parents. You sound like you've done a good job. You feel like, I feel like your parents have raised you right, but you haven't gotten entitled, right? Like, you're not, like, sitting here, at, sitting at home, or just, you know, out running around with your buddies. It seems like, man, you're, like, pushing yourself in life. You know, like, no one else is pushing you. You're pushing you. You want to learn more. You want to be a leader. Your example, I'm looking at your posture, the way that you're holding yourself. Like, dude, this is, this is like, it's, it's almost like militant, right? <laughs> Which I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, are, you, are you, are your family military or anything? Uh, no, my dad actually, one of his, uh, original jobs was working at a boot camp, though. Okay. Uh, yeah. So does he tell you to stand up straight? Uh, yes, sir. He does. Good. See what, <laughs> if you listen, he's got really good manners. He sits up straight. I mean, it's just awesome, dude. I mean, I know this for sure. We'll be watching this video, you know, 10 years from now. And you'd be like, dude, I was on Andy's podcast when I was 20 years old. I'm 30 now. And, you know, you got a $100 million company. And you're remembering when you were helping people with, like, you know, arbitrage Etsy drop shipping for a course for 500 And you remember I was making fun of you. I was like, you're charging. You're not charging enough. But, <laughs> but I get it because at the end of the day, you care more about helping people than you care about making money. Yes, you know what I love about him is, you know, and I tease him about the money part because really 500 bucks is nothing. Um, you know, to make 10 grand a month, spend 30 minutes a day, like this is stupid. Like everybody should do it. But he's hungry. He's learning. You know, I see a lot of people that take a course and like it maybe doesn't work or maybe like they didn't learn what they thought. And then they're just like, oh, I'm not going to take any more courses. But you keep training. You keep going after it. Um, what I call that is a belief in you. That like you know that the world's your library, and if you know what you're looking for, it's going to give you what you're looking for. So you're constantly looking to level up, elevate. You know, you seem like, you know, I call it mastery. 
Like, you know, we never can master perfection, but we can get, try to get as close as possible to that. And every day you're increasing your belief, right? Yes, sir. Um, so what does your life look like? Uh, just pretty I mean, you play much, baseball full time? Yes, sir. Just pretty much wake up, lift, go to class, baseball, and squeeze in some listings and then helping people in between whenever I have time. Good, man. Um, girlfriend? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Since I was 12. <laughs> what? Yes, sir. Dude, that's super cool, man. Yes, Girlfriend sir. since you're 12. Good, you need to bring her next time. I will. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, seriously, that's good. She would love this stuff. Oh, she uh, would have, for sure. But you have your girl, so you've been with her since you're 12. That's super cool. Um, you have brothers and sisters? I have a brother, yes, sir. How old's he? He's 22. What does he do? He's actually in real estate. Okay. Yep. Does he so live where you live? He's living up in Iowa right now. I'm in Kansas. Um, where does but, your mom and dad live? Uh, they're moving up to Iowa with him now, but uh -huh. we're all from, from Texas. Okay. But, yes, sir. All right, man. So outside of baseball and doing business, what do you like to do? Like you I hunt, mean, you, you just, you just exercise and lift and work out study. Like what do you do? Like you're from Texas. So like, what do you, what do you like to do? Uh, anything outdoorsy, uh, get out, get by the water. Um, I don't hunt or fish a ton. But you uh, like but, water, like, like going to the lake, stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Texas is a big lake state. Where are you from in Texas? Uh, the Woodlands. It's by Houston. Okay. It's really yeah. nice there. Oh, yeah. Not the Woodlands nice is place, freaking but... super nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really the nice. Woodlands is the nicest place in Texas. Gorgeous. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Um, so uh, a couple of things. Uh, Y'all got hit with a hurricane a couple of years ago, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, so uh, a couple of things. So what is your goal in the future? Like, like, what are we doing now? Like, what's your goal? Is it going to be in baseball? Is it going to be, like, what is your goal? Like, if you had to just predict. Right. Like, so. What, is your, what, what do you want now? Because I, I, I love this. And by the way, what, I want to ask you that question. What would you tell anybody 18 to 22 years old watching this? Somebody I mean. Young, hell, somebody 14 years old. I got a lot of guys that are 15 years old that start watching young like you. But, but what would you tell somebody young? Anybody who's young, you know, you can feel like you have a lot going on with class, you know, whether you're in sports, uh, you know, a lot of people have jobs at an early age, or you feel like you don't have a lot of time, there's always options out there to get better. And it's going to take some sacrifice here and there. You're not going to be able to go out and party every night. You're not going to be able to, you know, just blow away your time on TikTok reels or, you know, just watching content all day, you have to take action at some point. And that's the biggest thing in investing into yourself is, by far the biggest catalyst for my life personally, everything really started to speed up when I was willing to bet on myself, put money into myself. And that kind of built up a confidence and just really kept me going and exploded from there. Dude, I think that's so cool, man. I'm telling you, dude, the fact, like I said, the fact that you're young, you, you know, there's some guys in my company, you know, they're young, they're 20, 22, 24 years old, right? A lot of these guys have been with me since they're 18, 19. They've been here, you know, for four years, right? Yes, sir. And, you know, I, I, uh, a lot of them didn't go to college, but they've learned more than most people will learn in 30 lifetimes just because of entrepreneurship, right? Like dealing with people, like getting in events, like just, just educating themselves every day, self-development. And I think one of the things that I commonly see is that a lot of guys when they're young – um, they don't, they don't get into development a lot. You said they run around, they party, they hang out. They really don't know what's possible. Right. Mm. Um, I think a lot of people go to college and college is really good to go to. I think it's super important. It shows discipline and everything, but when you're done with college as important as it is, you probably won't even end up using your degree. You know what I'm right. saying? So like the fact that you're t taking your degree, you're going to school, you're learning, you're being ultra disciplined and you're doing entrepreneurship and you're in, you know, studying all the time, courses, seminars, events, you're learning confidence, you're learning how to, to approach people, how to talk about business, learning about different businesses. Like, dude, you're getting to learn from like thousands of people, the mistakes they made, you're getting to hear what they did wrong, you're getting to hear what they did right. And like, you're getting to make all these connections. And so I want to know what your, what your goals are in the future, which it could totally change. But like, dude, like that puts you at the unfair advantage. I'm telling you guys, the unfair advantage is real. And you're in an era right now that you're alive, that the unfair advantage is like, you can learn what people spent 20 or 30 years learning and you can learn it like right now. Yeah. 100%. And you don't have to spend 20 years. A hundred percent. And a big part of that and getting to learn from people is you know, a lot of people feel like they can do it themselves. 
starting from nothing, mm -hmm. but what you need to do is find someone who is in your shoes, but is where you're at, where you want to be, yep. right? So being around people who have already found the success in the same, same way you're looking for it, that's what you need to be doing. Yeah. But for me, for the goals for the next couple years, uh, I really want to, you know, help continue to help as many people as I possibly can, uh, because I know what it feels like to be in the situation where you really, truly want to change something in your life. You want to put in the work and you've tried a bunch of different things, or maybe you're just starting off, but you need something that truly works. Yeah. And it's not just, you know, hyped up because it's the it thing at the time. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, you talked about drop shipping. And you said, you know, hey, Andy, dropshipping doesn't have the best name, but Etsy arbitrage dropshipping is different, right? Right. I think that a lot of people don't really understand a lot of anything, so it kind of confuses them, and they don't do it. Or they try something, and it doesn't work, kind of like I was talking to you, and then they just quit. But it seems like you've kept going until you found this little niche. Yes, sir, and that's kind of what helped me to get to this point, just taking the learning experiences, why other business models maybe didn't work for me, and, you know, investing in the people who were su successful in those business models and taking what they did to be successful and moving it into something, you know, that would be more personalized to me, whether it's time or investing capital consistently into a business model. So anybody can take this, period, right? Yes, sir. You got to have a computer. Or phone. Or phone. <laughs> and then literally, you can learn this in how many hours? You're going to be working about three and a half hours a week, so you'll be pretty busy. <laughs> yeah. And how long does it take you to learn it? You'll be like the course. If I watched it front to back, you'll be an expert. Hour and a half, two hours, completely done. Your business set up. You just need to invest thirty minutes of time from there every That's single day. Amazing. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I know I said this, but anybody right now that wants to add an additional ten k a month of income, make sure you guys get his course. It's five hundred bucks. Take advantage of the kid while you can. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna look back one day and laugh at this. Yes, but I, I love it. Listen, I, I created a course um, when three years ago that was two hundred and ninety nine bucks, right? And I remember this course would make people a hundred grand a month or a hundred grand a year. It'd make them, you know, some people were making an additional two hundred grand a year from this two hundred and ninety nine dollar course. And I remember I was at the seminar event and everybody was laughing, and I was like, dude, what are you guys laughing at? And they're like, dude, you all sold us that course too cheap. And I honestly didn't know any better because I just wanted to take everything I knew and I just wanted to share it. And I honestly wasn't in it to make a lot of money. Like I just, I just wanted people to pay for it so that they would pay attention, like just, mm -hmm. you know, invest. So like exactly. I invested to learn all this and I made sure that it was going to work and then they invested a little bit and then they got the deal. But I'm going to tell you what that's going to do for you. I know you're going to keep recreating things for people. Okay. To change their life and being a good coach and stuff like that. And, and with this 500 bucks and people buy this, it's going to ruin the value of money for them. These people are going to become raging fans. If I spend $500 with you and I can make $10,000 a month, I'll look up in a year. I'd made 120 grand from literally investing $500. Dude, like, I'm like, when are you going to drop something else, bro? <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Absolutely. You're doing exactly what I did. So I believe a lot of people right now are going to get their lives changed for a little money spent and a lot made. So I love that. But tell me again, let's call your shot. What's your future look like? I want to be playing professional baseball and scale the business on the side as well. Have that to where I'm helping a bunch of people and, you know, have baseball as well. So it's going to be super busy, but there's always time for so, like, more. So you want to try to make it like to the major leagues or like, yes, sir. What's the deal? like do you think that's that can happen? Yes, sir. Okay. Absolutely where, where are you going to go? Where do you think it's going to happen? Like, let's just like, let's call it. <laughs> like if you had to guess, it's just a guess because you don't ever know. Things change. I, I, I love going back and watching me call my shot, you know? Yeah, I mean, are you saying for, like, outcome? Are you saying what team? Are you deal. just like if I could business. If I could make a dream life right now, it would be – I'm drafted to the, the Astros, so I'm 45 minutes from hometown. Mm -hmm. I got all my family there. We all live in this big compound, you know, from money being made from business on the side – you know, living the dreams, two different dreams, but both towards the same goal, mm -hmm. helping people, providing enter entertainment, and just working as hard as possible to make both of them happen. <laughs> Dude, I think you can do that. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, and we'll, we'll end this with this. Manifestation is real. It's like the realest thing ever. 
So you're here with me right now. You've walked around our compound, our facility. You've seen all the people here. You know what's going on. You know, you were here yesterday with us. There was 500 people here. There's some other big influencers here that are with me. They, it's, it's cool, isn't it, right? Very. Today you're here. <laughs> Did you see all the buses dropping off all the people oh, yeah. outside? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got another couple hundred people here. You're like, dude, like there's like a thousand people in and out of this in the last two days. Dude, I taught all day yesterday. I'm teaching all day again today. Like, like I'm living my dream life. Like I sat there at my kitchen table three years ago and I said I was going to do this. And like everybody was like, oh, yeah, sure. And then like they just see I'm a person where when you say something like I know you're going to do it. And you've been able to make it this far since, since you're 14. The reason why you're on our podcast is because you're bet, you've bet against yourself. So, like, I believe in you. I'm going to tell you this. I know you're going to end up playing for the Astros. I know you're going to build this compound. And I know that you're going to take care of your family and your brother and your mom and your dad. And you're going to make them really proud. You're going to go further than anyone else. I'm positive I can already see a 1,000 people, right, buying your $500 course and all see every one of them making ten grand a month and having a good life for an additional three and a half hours a week. Like I can see all this and anybody that can see the same thing that I can see is the most dangerous person in the world. And that's why when I might I like, call your shot, like you have to call your shot because we can't dependable success doesn't happen by not calling our shot. Like your mind has to know in which direction it's taking you at all time. I always say that your mind will always go in the direction of your greatest thought. So like if your greatest thought is, dude, I'm going to help everybody in this world. I'm going to keep working out. I'm going to get strong. I'm going to build a billboard body where people are going to want to listen to me. It's like the preacher that, or the guy was talking yesterday, Steve Weatherford, right? He had yes, a lot sir. of passion and fire, but he's a big dude too, didn't he? <laughs> yep. Well, it kind of makes you kind of want to listen to him when he's a big dude, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, so building a big, strong body, being like all that matters. Okay. So I can just see you doing that. How tall are you? Six, two. Yeah, dude, you're going to be a big dude. So I know you'll be with us for years. I know that we're going to keep growing like crazy. I see you growing like crazy. And I want to tell anybody and everybody, I love studying other industries. I personally do. Okay. So like I have a lot of friends that they create courses in industries that I'll probably never be in, but I still buy their courses because I want to know everything they know. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. It It helps me to make buying decisions as a consumer It helps me to understand that maybe you talk about something in that course that I can also bring into my business that may have nothing to do with arbitrage, Etsy dropshipping. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Like I've learned this. One piece of content, one piece of training could be a a million dollar idea. It could be a a hundred million dollar idea, but you don't ever know. So I just challenge anybody and everybody, self-develop right crazy. Um, There's going to be a link in the description box. Make sure you guys get it. This kid is on fire. He's killing it. You guys are going to watch him roll. Where can they find you on on Instagram again? They can find me on Instagram at official.carsonquack, or you can just shoot me a text, 936-217-4861. This kid's going to go far. I just want to tell you, man, I'm fired up. Can't wait to watch this in about four years from now. You know what I'm saying? And be like, dude, I freaking told you, bro. So guys, let's keep uh, keep watching them. You guys go go hit them up on Instagram, follow them. Let's let's watch his journey. Uh, some of you guys, even if you don't do this, guys support him. He's awesome. Okay, um, that's awesome. I'm gonna support you, and I appreciate you. And I just wanted to introduce you to everybody that I know. We love you guys. Our goal is to bring you value every day. So crush it, kill it. We'll see you guys in the next podcast. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. I love the race and I'm running to the first place. Long nights, long flights, I'ma make it big.